Hey everyone! In this video, I'll be creating the platform movie 3D scene in Recon 4D in Blender, and then I'll compare both renders to see which one looks better. Initially, I was also planning to make this scene in Prisma 3D, but I changed my mind. Instead, I have a challenge for you. Try creating the same platform 3D scene in Prisma 3D and upload your render on my Discord server. You can also post it on YouTube or Instagram. Just mention me, and I'll rate your animation or render. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. And if you want to download the models or get my project files, you can join my Discord server. I'll share everything there. First, I opened Recon 4D and deleted the default cube. Then, I imported a new cube, scaled it to form the base, and added normal and diffuse textures. I'm using textures and HDR is from Polyhaven, which is a great free resource for anyone who doesn't want to purchase materials. After applying both roughness and diffuse textures to the cube, I added a light and reduced the roughness a bit. This helps bring out the surface bumps nicely. Then, I copied the cube four times and adjusted their sizes to form the basic platform shape. Next, I entered edit mode, added a few loop cuts, and created a large square hole by extruding the faces inward and deleting them. I repeated this on all four sides. And yes, don't forget to save your project frequently, or you know what could happen. After that, I added another cube, scaled it to form a wall, and duplicated it multiple times to make all the side walls. Then, I imported an old bed model from Sketchfab and scaled it to fit the scene. Next, I modeled a wall light from a simple cube and duplicated it three times. Don't forget to give it an emission material so it glows. If you don't know how to make glowing objects in Recon 4D, you can check out my short tutorial on that. I also imported a sink model and a ski bitty toilet model, don't worry. I removed the head, hands, and bones. Then, I copied the lights to the opposite wall and added a mirror for extra detail. After that, I grouped all the models together to make it easier to move or duplicate them later. I made the background completely dark, turned on all the emission lights, and set their color to light blue. Finally, I copied the entire platform multiple times to complete the setup. After checking everything through the camera view, I rendered the scene. Honestly, my phone struggles with big renders in Recon 4D, but still, here's the final result. Now, let's move on to Blender. First, I deleted the default cube, camera, and light. Then, I added a new cube, scaled it to form the base, and used real-world measurements for accuracy. I actually looked up the platform's dimensions on Google. Next, I added another cube to create the hole in the middle and used a Boolean modifier on the base to cut it out. Then, I added walls using another cube and used the array modifier to quickly make copies for the other sides. After saving the project, I imported the old bed model on both sides and then added a sink and a commode model. I set up the camera with a focal length of 25 millimeters, switched the render engine to cycles, and then realized I forgot to add the wall lights. So I created them using scaled cubes, just like in Recon 4D. When I switched to the render view, everything looked white because there were no textures yet. So I set the world background color to black and added emission materials to the lights with a strength of around seven. You can adjust it based on your lighting. Then, I applied a concrete texture to all the walls and adjusted the scale properly in the UV editor. For the finishing touch, I added glare and color balance nodes in the compositing tab. You can really see the difference before and after composition. To enhance realism, I added a smoke slash fog effect using volume scatter, then applied depth of field blur in the camera. I even animated the camera and the large marble piece. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. Finally, I rendered the scene. And this one took about two hours to finish. Conclusion. Both renders turned out amazing, but personally, I liked the Recon 4D version more. Considering it was rendered on a low-budget phone with a low-end processor, it still looks surprisingly good. I really love Recon 4D and can't wait for its next updates. So, which render did you like more? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more 3D animation videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.